Welcome to Bears in Exile. This is our very first training video. We'll be going over the Guppy GMMA or Guppy Multiple Moving Average Indicator. This is used to identify trend strength and direction as well as being able to tell if a trend has problems and how much support a trend can expect to have. It's very very useful. I use it as a primary indicator and it will uh, be in many of our market videos. So without further ado, um, you have the red trend lines and the blue trend lines. These are moving averages. Long-term moving average, short-term moving average. The long-term moving average strength is shown by separation of the lines. The more separation you have, the stronger the underlying trend, whichever direction that may be going. The blue, on the other hand, the separation denounces speculation. As long as you have uniform um, lines in the short term moving average, that's good. And it shouldn't have any troubles. Now, when they diverge and there is excessive separation that is no longer uniform, that is a bubble. And bubbles correct very, very quickly in Guppy. The only bad thing is you normally will not see a bubble until the first problem with it. So depending on how deep that first cut is, you may be able to use it to your advantage or you may have already been stopped out by your trailing stop wherever you decide to set that. Now, when the blue converges, I call it a flat line when it looks like this right here. It's just one big blue line. That is price agreement. No speculation or very little. When the long term converges and gets close, that is a weakening of that trend. And if that flatlines, that means that doesn't mean um, price agreement. That means price disagreement with the long term investors, which is bad. That means it's susceptible to breaking and flipping over whichever direction that may be. So long as you have a strong strong separation in the long term trend and the long term moving averages, it should be able to withstand punishment from the short term. The more separation the better. And punishment will cause it punishment and damage will cause it to shrink until eventually it will just flatline and turn over and break. Now it can be broken decisively without it uh, really converging or flatlining, but if it does do that, that strength is still in effect and normally it will rebound back. So for instance, right here, this had a bubble, started to correct, and turned out to be pretty deep, came down into the long term moving averages, got through it, and it was sucked back up. Notice that these do not the reds do not flatline. So they still provide strength. It bounces back up. Get price agreement here and long term held long enough for it to shoot off again. Underlying trend strengthens and, uh, and this goes along having little bubbles along the way, all of which correct. Now we can use this to our advantage in certain circumstances and profit from it. And I'm going to show you how to do that here in just a little bit on our second video. Stay tuned.